what I love most is, uh, is the people. Absolutely. I mean, that's what attracted me to the business in the first place. When I was interviewing, I didn't know anything about commercial real estate. And I, I had a cup of coffee with Joe Lynch, senior. <laughs> and Joe said, hey, Rob, you know, you're out selling uh, telecopier equipment. You should get into commercial real estate. I go, well, what's that? And he proceeded to tell me that if, if you do that, the only company you should be part of is Coldwell Banker Commercial. So I called him the next day and started the interview process because of my own curiosity. But what kept me going along that, that path was the David Alexanders and the John Wallhopters and the Eric Berkeleys and the Jim Leslies along the way. It was like, I'm really impressed with these, with these people the Mick Shreks, the Bill Reimers, the Gary Volchucks. It was like, these are quality people in an industry that I knew nothing about. And if I could educate myself about the industry, I could be much like them. So um, and, and that's, that's never failed me because that's what's stimulated my interest and continues to to this day. And because of that, uh, we formed lifelong friendships. Yeah. And you tell stories like this along the way. At Rob's retirement party, which was what, about two weeks ago? A couple weeks ago, yeah. Probably 50 people got together. Many of us had not seen each other for two or three years, but it was like no time had passed. We were all so excited and so happy to once again get together. And the story started and the handshakes and the hugs. And it was it was just wonderful to see everybody there. Everyone is so positive, so upbeat, and so endorsing of one another that that was a reminder of why we are in the business and why we love the business and the people so much. That's right. And so, I'll say thanks to Tina. Thanks to Tina. Who put the who put that who together? Put it on. So we should have the. I think that party like every year. We should do that annually, shouldn't it, it? Was that Tina Pappas or Tina Agner? <laughs> Which Tina was that? I think it was Tina Pappas. But it was—it truly was a reminder of how wonderful an industry we are in. Oh, and like I said before, it's a great game to play, and we love making deals too. There's, there's we, not, there's we, not too many. We are all so fortunate. I, I look at it this way: we are all so fortunate to be at this period of time in history. So pick any period of time in history. When would you like to be in Puget Sound Northwest real estate? 1900 to 1920, 1940 to 1960, 1980 to 2000, 2000. I mean, pick a 20, 30-year period of time. If you were to offer that to anyone, they would go, well, this is pretty special because this is before Microsoft, before Amazon, before Costco, before Starbucks, before T-Mobile. I mean, go down the list. All this has been created since we've been here. Oh, yeah. And we're just so fortunate to be in this place and time to be participating along the way. I mean, for that, I'm, I'm, I'm truly grateful. It's unbelievable. It's a great place for C students. <laughs> Speak for yourself, C students. <laughs> Well, I'll say it. I mean, you've got to be money motivated. If you're not money motivated, then you're in the wrong place. Because it's exactly the opposite. I'll never forget my first January 1 when I was on my own. And I walked over to Art Wall and looked at him and said, Art, it's January 1. I have made nothing and I don't know if I'll make anything. Is it like this every January 1? He said, yeah, pretty much. You'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't grow up with any money. So it was I was never driven by the money. I was driven by the freedom. I could not go to work anywhere. So when I would interview people, I would say, here's what the industry gives you. An ability to make an unlimited amount of money. An incredible amount of freedom. And the two of those are they cut both ways. So yeah. how do you deal how do you deal with that dichotomy? Yeah. I mean, that's. Are you self driven? And, and, and are you driven? And, and if you could put those three things together and turn that into motivation, the world is yours. Yeah. But you've got to also understand ultimately about yourself because it's really easy to fool up here and convince yourself that I'm, I'm doing this for here, but it really comes from here. It comes from the heart, not from the head. You know, I, I, I'm dead serious about this. I've never worked a day in my life. Oh, I have. 
But you got paid for it. I've never worked a day in my life. <laughs> I had to work. I you like the game. The deals exactly. in. You brought the deals and I had to, go to work. Had to do the work. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having a job. It's uh, a fun business. It's fun. <laughs>